Welcome to another episode of By the Numbers. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Michelle Fleming. Today we're going to be talking about one-to-one -one correspondence. One-to-one -one correspondence is a skill that we want kids to have before they come to school. So if you have little ones at home, we're just going to share with you what it is and share with you some quick ideas of what we can do with that. So, Renee, we've got candy bars out I, here. And I'm liking the look of those. Do yep. I get part of these if I'm really good and follow along? I'll think about it. Aren't you on a diet? Uh oh. See, I'm going to hold you to that yet. Okay. Okay, so how many candy bars do we have out here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what Renee just modeled for you was somebody who has one-to-one -one correspondence. Often you might see your kids go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they're not saying a number to go with each count of the candy bars. So we're going to play a game. Okay. You like games. I like games. I know that. Okay, I'm going to put some of these candy bars in the bag. Okay. And I just want you to close your eyes. Okay. So you don't know how many I put in. Okay. Okay. There goes some of my treats. There you go. Okay. Now. Can I you open, can open. Okay. You can open. Okay. I put some candy bars in the sack. Oh, okay. I'm just going to have, I'm going to shake it. I want you to guess. Okay. Which is part of estimation. Okay. How many candy bars do you think you hear? Can I look at what's still over there? Nope. Okay. Uh, I'd say three. Okay. Dump, dump them out and find out. Okay. Oh, very <laughs> good. One, two, three. Okay. So find number three, and a number line, this is what I'm having her find it on, is a great tool to help kids just make a connection between their count and what it looks like. Do you and know what three looks like? Well, I do, but I was just going to say, and we just downloaded a number line off of Google Images on, mm -hmm. the, on the Internet, so it's nothing that you have to go out and purchase. It, it's a freebie. So okay. the three, well, if I didn't know which numeral was the three, mm -hmm. How and would I, you solve I could go one, two, three, and now I am pointing to the numeral three. Okay. Okay, so if your child doesn't know the numeral three, then that, that's a great strategy for getting them to recognize the number three is to do the jump. Okay. Okay, one more time. Okay. Since you were so good with that one, I'm okay. going to... Okay, try to trick me again. I'm going to try to trick you. I was, I was listening to you jiggle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Okay. 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 I think there's more this time, so I'm going to guess um, seven. Okay. And that was a great skill you just used by using that frame of reference, knowing what three sounded like. Now you know it's going to be more. Okay. So you want to look to see, does your child recognize that? Okay. Okay. Oh, I guess too high, though, I think. One, two, three, four, not much, though, five, and six. Okay. So how would you, where is six at on the number line? Well, again, if I didn't know what the numeral looked like, I could start back at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six. There's okay. the six. Okay. This time we're going to do it a little different. Those six, will you put them back in the bag for me? Okay. And I, I might count them just to okay. make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This time there's six in the bag. Where's six at on the number line again? Right there. Okay. This time we're going to we're going to actually talk about how we can count on. Okay. Okay. So there's six. I'm going to add. Okay, am I supposed to keep... Put I your finger on six again. There was six. Every time we put one in the bag, I want you to count on the okay. next number. Ready? Okay, seven, eight. Okay, counting on is another skill that... That's a tough skill for kids. They always want to take them and dump them all back out and count all over once we add them. Uh -huh. And they'll actually want to take them all and start with one, two, three. So if we can put some of them in the bag and point to that number, and then as we add just jump on the number line to help them with their counting on skills. That, that helps them become more advanced in their number sense. Yes. So that's just something quick and easy you can do with your kids at home. So thank you for joining us in another episode of By the Numbers. And you can find out more information about this and other episodes on My Kids Turn. Okay, you can have some candy now. Thanks. <laughs>